Former Rep. Pat Schroeder, who was a pioneer for women's and family rights in Congress, died Monday night, her former press secretary said. She was 82. She represented Colorado's first congressional district from 1973 to 1997. Andrea Camp, Schroeder's former press secretary, said the former lawmaker suffered a stroke recently and died at a hospital in Celebration, Florida, where she has been living in recent years. Pat Schroeder blazed the trail. Every woman in this house is walking in her footsteps, said Rep. Nita Lowy, DN.Y. Newest political party on ballot in three states has Democrats terrified. File, Pat Schroeder speaks to a reporter during an interview at the Los Angeles Convention Center on April 30, 1999. Lowy took over from Schroeder as Democratic chair of the Congressional Caucus on Women's Issues. Schroeder served for 24 years, rising through the Democratic ranks, as she built a reputation for using her rapier wit to take on the powerful elite shaking up institutions and forcing entities to acknowledge women's role in government. File, Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm, DN.Y, Left, and Pat Schroeder, D. Colorado, are pictured at a news conference in Washington on July 31, 1979. File, U.S. Rep. Pat Schroeder, D. Colorado, sits on the porch outside her Capitol Hill headquarters in Denver on July 18, 1994. Heart-stopping crash on Colorado interstate allegedly caused by pothole, video. She was unafraid of embarrassing her congressional colleagues and became an icon for the feminist movement. Schroeder retired in 1997 and her parting shot to Congress came the following year when she penned a book titled 24 Years of Housework, and the place is still a mess. My Life in Politics File, President Bill Clinton introduces Rep. Pat Schroeder of Colorado, during a ceremony honoring community heroes from flood-afflicted states in St. Louis, on August 12, 1993. File, former U.S. Rep. Pat Schroeder, D. Colorado, left, and her husband, Jim, head to their seats to watch the inauguration ceremony for Colorado Gov. Jared Polis on January 8, 2019, in Denver. The tell-all book chronicled her frustration with the male-dominated legislature and the general slow pass of getting anything done in the federal government. She was the first woman to serve on the House Armed Services Committee. Schroeder was born in Portland, Oregon, on July 30, 1940. She graduated from the University of Minnesota before earning her law degree in 1964, and went on to serve as a field attorney for the National Labor Relations Board for two years. She was also a pilot who operated her own flying service to pay for her college tuition. Schroeder got married in 1962 and is survived by her husband, James W. Schroeder. She is also survived by their two children, Scott and Jamie, and her brother, Mike Scott.